Hi, it's Kimberly with Knit for Brains, and I'm actually really excited about uh, what I'm going to bring you today. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing some knitting. How cool is that, right? Knit for Brains, and I'm actually going to be doing some knitting. Um, one of the things that I have been looking for is a really nice set of circular needles that are interchangeable. So you know you've got your straight needles uh, like this guy here, right? And then you know you have your interchangeable needles um, with the cord that changes out and then you know you have your fixed circular needles. So circular needles interchangeable and also um, fixed. <clears throat> so I've been looking for a really nice set of circular interchangeable needles. And the reason I like the interchangeable is because I have Project FOMO, maybe. Project FOMO, like fear of missing out. So I start working on a project and then maybe I see something else and I'm like, ooh, I wanna do that. So I can save the, you know, the cord, put the little ends on it and then move the needles over to something else. Whereas if you just have the circular needles that are fixed, you're stuck with those needles on those fixed cords until that project is finished. So I had some uh, circular needles that I loved. They're by Knit Picks, and they're the nice, really soft wood, and they're the rosewood. They were called the rainbow, or they are called the rainbow, and I love them. The problem was that when I tried to um, interchange them, you know, I would use the little uh, uh, Allen key, and I would tighten it, but it would still come unloose, or it would come, I would come loose and undone. Oftentimes, when I'm working on my project, all of a sudden a needle would come off, or it would start to unscrew, and then my yarn would get stuck inside between the screw, the cord, and the needle. So I've been looking for a nice new interchangeable set, and they're not cheap, but um, I found this brand new set on Knitter's Pride. And it's called the Mindful Collection. Now, if you don't know me enough, um, you might, hopefully you know, that I'm kind of a zen, hippie, boho-y kind of chick. And so the Mindfulness Collection really spoke to me. So I saw it on their website, and I couldn't really find any, any pricing. They did have different packages. They have the gratitude package and I think the kindness package and the different ones depending on if you wanted the interchangeable um, or if you wanted the circular fixed or and then there was different levels within them. So I found what I wanted and I went on Amazon and I got this last night so I'm opening it. This is the Knitter's Pride and it is the Mindful Connection the Believe set. So these are five inch needles interchangeable. So the mindful collection is all about um, being mindful when you're knitting or maybe even crocheting or even weaving any kind of a fiber art that it's more of a meditative uh, state or a craft I guess that you can do that can put you into a meditative state. And so to be mindful is to be in the moment. And so you get this really nice little booklet that talks about what it's like to be mindful in the moment and I will say that if you've ever been knitting right or maybe crochet but really more knitting it's that tick, 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 of the two needles clicking together and there's that kind of rhythm it's very relaxing and there's been all kinds of studies about uh, how relaxing it can be to and beneficial for the brain for knitting and crocheting that you're using the right brain and the left brain and it helps with things like um, reducing or preventing dementia, reducing the, the onset of dementia or Alzheimer's and arthritis. And it has all these really, really great benefits. So the mindfulness, um, it says mindfulness is the non-judgmental awareness of our mind, our body, and our world in that moment. It means we let go of the past and we don't race ahead into the future. It enables us to look kindly and with acceptance at the present. It gives us the quality uh, the gift of quiet time. So I went ahead and I took the plunge. These aren't cheap, but I took the plunge for you. All right, so you get this nice little booklet and then it's wrapped in this really sweet, it's in a nice little bag so you can carry your, your booklet of needles in here and then it's wrapped in this really nice little tissue. So far I'm very impressed with the packaging and it says the mindful collection. It's almost like giving yourself a nice little gift. Very exciting. So I might. So now the test is going to be: 
do the uh, locking cables actually work and do they loosen up? So I'm going to move into that right now. So once again, here we have the uh, Knitter's Pride Mindful Collection, and this is the Believe set. Um, this is the little booklet that comes with the set, and so it shows you just really what being mindful about knitting, what that really means. Talks about the different um, needle sizes. They are stainless steel plated. Uh, they have a double pointed, so this is really the complete set. And then back here is where you see all the different sets. So you have the, the gratitude set, the belief set, which is the one that I got. And then there's also the warmth set, the kindness, the compassion set, the grateful set, and then it goes on. Now, of course, you can buy these, in, these needles individually, um, but by buying them in a kit, in a set, you actually end up getting somewhere between 20 to 25% discount off of the single price when you buy it in bulk. So again, it comes in a set that looks just like this. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out. So this is a nice way to keep your knitting, your Knitter's Pride set together. And you got this nice little packet here. And then here inside, we've got, so I got the seven uh, needles. These are double pointed and I got the interchangeable. And then they're gonna come in this little set here. So I have the sizes that start at three millimeters and they go all the way up to five millimeters or to a US size six from a US size 2.5. And if you don't know the numbers, then all you have to do is look at the side of your needles and it has explore, imagine, breathe, create, dream, rejoice, and exhale. So if you don't know the names of your needles or the sizes rather, you can just go ahead and pick them up by the names. So I thought that was really nice. Plus it's a very zen, relaxing way to do it. So. Inside of this is your little kit, your Notions kit, and inside of the Notions kit, inside, you can see there's a really nice little canvas zipper on the inside. This is where you're gonna find your cords and your needle size. So we have on this side, it's the US size, and on this side, it's the millimeters. And this is a really nice hard plastic, so that's very handy. You can also get that individually, uh, and I believe it's like a stainless steel. Now, you get four sets of cords. So these are the swivel cords, and then these are the fixed cords. And the difference between, if you look at the attachment that attaches to the cord, on the fix, it doesn't move, okay? It just sits right there. On the swivel, it actually can move and spin. So if you ever are working with your projects and the yarn gets twisted and then it starts to unscrew the needles, which is my problem, that's not gonna happen with this nice swivel cord. So you'll see that it has, it just has right here swivel cords. The other thing that's really nice about this set is that there are these markers on each one of the cords that mark out one inch. So if rather, if you're trying to figure out how long your piece of work is, you just have to look here at the inches. And this one here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, and 14. So this is one of the smaller ones. And it's also written here on the side of the cord. Um, so this just says Knitter's Pride and that it is it has a steel cable with swivel stainless steel cable 24 uh, millimeters and then this one here's a little bit longer so you get those additionally in the little zippered pocket right inside here you'll get this little snapped pouch and inside here you're going to find your extenders two extenders and four of the stitch enders. If you have to remove your needles from your project and move them to something else, you just screw these onto the ends. And then this here is sort of your Allen wrench tightener and you get two of those. So we get like this and there's in this nice little, very sturdy canvas um, case with a little snap. 
And then one more thing inside this cute little zippered pocket, you also get all these stitch markers. So you get two darning needles, two different lengths, and two different eye holes. You also get 10 of the medium size knit um, stitch markers. You also get 10 of the large size stitch markers and 10 of the very small stitch markers. So small, medium, and large, 10 of each. So that's 30. You additionally get 10 of these locking stitch markers. So you get seven here, or six here, eight, nine, and then 10. And then there's one here, so it's 10 total. And then these here are your sliding stitch markers. And you get 10 of these as well. So in addition to all of this, you get 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 different stitch markers. And they're in this nice little side zipper pouch that just makes it really easy and organized. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I just brought out some, some scrap yarn here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and try uh, like the fours. I'm sorry, the US, the four and a half, the US size seven. So let's go ahead and pull these guys out. And there's a nice little um, end here at the pocket so it doesn't go all the way through. So I'm just gonna grab these guys. And the way that you do it is you just screw it on. So there's a female end and it screws into the male end. I'm sorry, the male end of the cord screws into the female end of the needle. You just screw it on like so. And then you screw it onto the opposite end, the other needle. And then what you do with these guys, this is the beaded, uh, like a needle tightener. There's a little hole at the end. You just go ahead and put it in there. And then you just give it a little turn. You just give it a little turn like that. One turn is perfectly fine. So you just kind of turn against it, pull it towards you. And then we'll do the same on this side. So we just find that little hole right there. And then we just give it one nice turn away from us that way to tighten it. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and try. This is just a real basic Lions brand yarn, but I wanted to see if how it feels and if the yarn will split with the needles. So let's go ahead and give it a stitches on here. And what I'm gonna do is use this one here and just, so the first thing is the tips are nice and sharp, but they're not too sharp that they're gonna hurt me, but they are sharp enough that they can come into the stitch and pick up all of the fibers and not split the stitch. Now I typically use the wooden interchangeable needles. So I haven't used the stainless steel before. I like the way they feel. I really like the swivel. It's not confusing. Um, it doesn't feel awkward to me. My yarn is getting a little stripped there, but that's okay. Um, but it, it has really nice give and take as you move your stitches over, and I don't feel like the cables are getting twisted so for a long time. All right, nice. So this is the uh, Knitter's Pride Mindful Collection, and I am using one of the swivel cords in the interchangeable needle set. They also have the fixed needle set if you don't want to have the interchangeable needles. Um, and they also had just some, uh, some different types, some fixed circulars, um, different sizes of cords. And then really when it comes to the different kits, it just depends on your budget and what you're going to have. The largest kit is the Gratitude Collection. And that one's got um, I think like 12 or maybe 14 needle sizes in it. This one had seven and I was fine with this because they're your pretty much your standard seven needles, you know, from your, your three millimeter all the way up to your five millimeter, pretty much any project that I'm going to be working on, I'll be able to do with these needles. So yeah, the cords twist, all cords twist. These are staying really nice and tight. They're not coming un, uh, unhooked which is really good. 
So I'm very pleased with this so far. And this is with the swivel cord. Let's go ahead and see how the fixed cord works. Let's see if I like that one as well. This is again, just some scrap yarn that I got. And let's do another one of these sets of needles. Actually, let's show you how this works. So if you've never used these before, what we're gonna do is we're just going to stick that little beaded top uh, needle loosener or tightener, it depends on how you go. So you just turn it to loosen it up. Let's go ahead and take that needle off. And then you can use one of these guys, a stitch holder, and it's got a little screwed uh, opening there at the end. And then you just screw that onto the end of your work so your work doesn't come off and you can move your needles over to another project. So we'll do that on this side. So if you haven't used that, that is a really nice feature with the interchangeable. That is predominantly why I like to use the interchangeable. Then you just move them off of your needles. Um, if I want to use the same size needle on a different project, which often happens, I would just take this needle off and then get one of these stitch markers and then just attach it to the end of your project. Okay, like so. So this guy here is gonna go over there. It's not gonna go anywhere. These needles here, I'm gonna use the some of the fixed cords. So I'm gonna take a set of the fixed cords. And you don't have to uh, keep the tags on it because it does say in small print on the cord what kind of needle it is. Okay, so that's very helpful. And I'm just going to go ahead. Now these are the ones that are fixed, so as you see it doesn't actually move and swivel on that cord. So I'm going to go ahead and attach these needles to this cord. And I use my little tightener. And we just tighten it like that. And then we're going to go over here. Ah, one thing I wanted to show you. So these are extenders. If you've never used these before, here's how these work. You see how this has the male end, and these are females on both sides. So what you would do is you would just go ahead and attach the extender. And then if you wanted to add a longer cord, and you can use the tightener if you want to, you would just go ahead and grab yourself another cord, say this one for instance, and you attach it to the end. And you can do this with all the cords. This is a swivel, so you can see I don't have to really twist it. You can do this with all the cords to make one really big long one, see that? And then what you're gonna do here is you just go ahead and add your needle, tighten it down just a little bit, so that's really handy as well, where you can make these things nice and long depending on whatever project you are working with. So I am using the fixed on this, and now this is a swivel over here. Yeah, that's a swivel. But I'm just gonna use the fixed. I wanna see how this feels. Again, this is not really expensive yarn. It does tend to split, but these needles are doing a really good job not splitting my yarn. There we go. So, so far, um, I prefer the swivel just because I think it, it answers a lot of the questions and, and takes care of the problems, the issues that I've had with the circular um, and the interchangeable needles. Uh, but they both feel very, very good. They're sturdy, they feel strong. I don't feel like the needles are coming um, unhinged or coming off of the project. They feel nice and smooth. Again, those points are sharp enough to get down in there, but not so much that it's gonna hurt my hand. So this is the Mindful Collection. This is the Believe by Knitter's Pride. And the Believe set has the seven needles in it with the four different cords of various sizes, the extenders, it's got two extenders, two tighteners, 
um, four of the placeholders, 50 of the stitch markers, um, the needle sizer, and it all comes in this really nice package, which also has this cute little package inside where you keep all your cords and fasteners, and then also in this nice project, so uh, project bag. So it's a really complete set. It is, it's an investment. It's about, they started about 90, maybe 70, 80 bucks. I think this one was um, just under 100. And they go all the way up to like 180, 190. Again, just depending on your budget and depending on how many needles you want and what, what accessories and things like that. There are other accessories. Um, you can't actually buy anything on Knitter's Pride website. But if you go to the website and you look at all the different accessories and the different kits, they do have a pretty comprehensive store locator page that gives you both in-person and online stores that carry their products. And I was able to find, I wanted to get the stitch markers in the Chakra. They're stainless steel plated and I wanted to get them. Um, and I actually found them on an Etsy store that have them and it even included I think free shipping. So there's a couple other things that I'd like to get but you can take a look at their website. You can buy these needles individually or you can buy them in one of the kits. Again you get a little bit of a discount anywhere between 20 to 25 percent if you buy the kit over buying them individually. So I liked this set. It was very um, mainstream if you don't have any circular or interchangeable needle sets it's a really nice starter set and uh, all of these needles even if you have some other um, knitters pride but maybe not this particular collection they're all interchangeable so any one of the knitters pride sets these needles and these cords will actually work so um, this was using the fix as well as the swivel and uh, I'm very happy actually with these needles. This is the, I'm using the Rejoice set um, of needles. So my review of the Mindful Collection by Knitter's Pry, this is their interchangeable needle set, is a thumbs up. I'm really impressed. I like these very, very, very much. Um, I love the swivel cord. This guy, where's my swivel cord? I love the way that these things feel and the way that your work doesn't get twisted. I'm a big fan of this, all right? And again, it does have the fixed cords, but uh, the swivel is something that I think I was really looking for for a long time. So here's Pride Mindful Collection. I'm impressed with it. I'm very happy with it. And with the whole Zen and the Believe, it actually makes me want to knit even more. So um, I would give this a real big thumbs up on this Knitter's Collection. It's brand new. I'll include all the links below of places that you can purchase them. And happy knitting. If you go out and you watch this video and you decide you want to try it, comment below and let me know which set you got and um, what your comments were. If you liked it, didn't like it, what, you, uh, what your opinion was and what you liked. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon. This is Kimberly with Knit for Brains.